Now, Ginsburg was a champion for women's rights and a hero for those on the left. Our Washington correspondent, Ketavan Gorgistani, joins us now outside the Supreme Court. First of all, Ketavan, what is the atmosphere like there right now? Well, uh, just like uh, last night, there are hundreds of people who have gathered here in front of the Supreme Court. The only change is that the police uh, put out barriers uh, to keep people away from the steps of the Supreme Court. But people have been uh, gathering here for uh, hours. Uh, there are plenty of, uh, of flowers on the ground and uh, people uh, writing in chalk on the sidewalk messages uh, for uh, Ruth Bader Ginsburg and also some of her uh, most uh, famous uh, quotes. Uh, one, uh, for example, uh, when uh, she was asked, uh, when will there be enough women in the Supreme Court? And she said, when there are nine. And there are a lot of thank yous written on the grounds of the Supreme Court. Thank you uh, for teaching us how to fight, Red One, uh, finishing by saying uh, that we will continue. And that's one of the messages uh, of uh, some of the people here. There's, of course, a lot of sadness, but uh, they feel that they have a duty uh, to continue the fight that Ruth Bader Ginsburg uh, held uh, her whole life. And uh, they also are very worried about uh, what comes next. But right now, people are remembering her legacy. Uh, the words that keep coming back are icon, role model, trailblazer, and of course, champion for women's rights, for gender equality. That was the fight of her life. And people here uh, really uh, remember it. And uh, there was uh, this uh, really uh, cute moment uh, here. There were two uh, little Little, uh, kids uh, who sat on the ground uh, next to uh, riding uh, in chalk uh, and uh, they really uh, showed uh, this uh, next uh, generation uh, really showing that they will continue the fight uh, that they've learned from her and that they uh, will take it upon themselves to continue that fight for the coming generations. Well there's already a fight in Congress over who will succeed Ginsburg and when. How is that fight playing out between Democrats and Republicans? Yesterday, someone uh, told me it's about to get very ugly, and it has indeed uh, gotten uh, pretty uh, ugly already. The battle is uh, going to be fierce. Uh, yesterday, just a few hours after uh, Ruth Bader Ginsburg's uh, passing was announced, there was a statement from the Senate Majority uh, Leader uh, Mitch McConnell, a statement in which, in the same statement, he mourned the passing of Ruth Bader Ginsburg, uh, but also finished by saying that Donald Trump's nominee would get a vote on the Senate floor. And, of course, the president has an announced that he wants to push forward very quickly with finding a nominee and going through the process of appointing uh, that uh, person. And the Senate, uh, controlled by the Republican, is adamant that they uh, will uh, do that, that they will go ahead uh, with the process. There's a battle, of course, because remember that back in 2016, the Republicans blocked Barack Obama from uh, filling the vacant seat left after the death of uh, J the conservative uh, Justice Antonin Scalia. And uh, some of those quotes back then from the Republicans are being brought back to light, especially the one by Lindsey Graham, who said, you can use my words against me. There should not be a vacant seat filled during a presidential year. And of course, the Democrats have been pouncing on that. Lindsey Graham walking back a little bit those comments, saying that the situation is not the same today. Back then, a president was Democrat. The Senate was controlled by the Republicans. This time around, he says the president and the Senate see I they're both Republican, and therefore, it's a different uh, story. But the Democrats are going to fight as much as they can. And the key will be uh, lying into a few uh, senators' hands, because uh, already uh, one, at least, Lisa Murkowski of Alaska, has uh, said, even before the passing of Ruth Bader Ginsburg, just a few days ago, uh, she said that she would not vote to fill a vacant seat before uh, the election of a new uh, president. The Democrats are hoping hoping that several other Republicans will be uh, joining her to try uh, to uh, block uh, that and to wait until there is an actual president uh, voted uh, for by the people, by the American uh, people, and that the American people get to decide. And only uh, then uh, will uh, there be a replacement for Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Ruth Bader Ginsburg, who had this statement uh, to her granddaughter as she uh, felt that those were her last days, she said that her wish was uh, that... Uh, her replacement would only be named once there was a new president elected. Okay, Ketavan Gorgistani reporting for us outside the Supreme Court. Thank you so much. Now to Thailand, where tens of